What's up guys? Welcome to your 35th Android tutorial and for the new boss and again my name is Travis. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up our ne next application. So we're going to create a new XML file by going right clicking file new other and then Android XML file. You guys should be familiar with this. We're going to call it an or email XML finish and basically I'm trying to think of some new things I can introduce you guys to with the XML so it doesn't get boring. What we're going to do is we're going to add some edit text, plain text, and you're like, what? This isn't new. You are lame. Which is fine, but what, what I'm actually going to introduce you guys to is something called a scroll view. So add about six, uh, yeah, six is good. Six edit text, and then we're going to add a text view above each one. Um, nothing too awesome here. And then we're also going to add, let's see, the date and time thing. We're going to add an analog clock right here just because we can now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda separate some of these code or some of this code with some linear layouts so I don't know what that statement is alright and uh, so first we're gonna break it into some linear layouts Oh, also we're gonna add a button regular button right after our edit text or our last edit text and there we go. And then we're going to set, separate these with three linear layouts. So I'm going to set up a linear layout. Again, nothing new for the most part. Linear layout. And we're going to close this statement off here. And delete it here. And then just set it up. Android. Basically, I'm going to copy and paste the same setup here. It's going to be vertical orientation. Again, nothing new for you guys. And match parent. And then we're also going to just copy and paste this for our edit button, for our button, I mean, just for a one button class. And then we're also going to copy and paste it for the analog clock as well. And we're going to change all these, uh, the height to them for. Actually, before we do that, we're going to go into add our, edit, our scroll view. So right here, this top linear layout, this is where we're going to add our scroll view. And basically, the scroll view will allow us to scroll through all of our items within the linear view below. And the scroll view has to have a linear view for the most part within its parameters. So we're just going to add a scroll view. Again, Android layout uh, width equals uh, fill parent and Android layout height is going to equal fill parent as well. All right, so we have our scroll view set up and we want it to wrap our linear view. So we're going to copy this line and paste it below this linear view. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up all of these other linear views that we set up uh, to have fill parent for the height as well. And then we're going to use the weight method that we're familiar with. Oops. So kind of a boring tutorial, just get everything set up um, and introduce you guys to the scroll view for the most part and the analog clock, which I just threw that in there randomly. So um, there we go. We basically have that set up and now we're going to add the weight to our top or main linear layout that holds everything else. So we're going to say Android weight sum equals 100. And let's say we, we're going to give this scroll view uh, weight. layout weight and oops, I was afraid that was going to happen okay layout weight equals let's say like uh, I don't know 20 30 let's do 30 sorry and then we're going to give uh, this, we're just going to copy this line here. We're also going to add some weight to this linear layout that holds our button. And we're going to give this one 40. And then also this last linear layout, we're going to give 30 as well. So 30 plus 40 plus 30 is 100, which we want. And let's check it out. 
that's pretty good um, for the most part. I'm also going to basically have this analog clock fill parent for the width and the height and uh, you know set this button up to center but you guys don't really need to know that as you can see we only have three text views but you'll be able to scroll through these text views oh crap when our application works so there you go that's kind of introducing you guys to the scroll view I know we went quickly but hopefully it wasn't too complicated basically all you need to know is a scroll view takes a linear view with within its parameters and uh, make sure the linear view that's within the parameters is set to vertical orientation so you can scroll vertically so thanks again for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial